Okay, so let's try this. This problem here, it says to convert the following structures into molecular formulas. And it gives you these three compounds here. The first one is the active ingredient in aspirin, acetosalicylic acid. And then the second one here is the active ingredient in Tylenol, um, acetaminophen. And then this third one here is the illicit narcotic uh, cocaine. So they're all kind of have analgesic properties. So whenever you're trying to determine from the structure to the molecular formula, the way I like to do it first is to count the carbons, okay? So like we've been doing, um, it goes C, H, and then in alphabetical order, all the hetero atoms, okay? So since there's only C's, H's, and O's in this one, um, we're not gonna have to worry too much about that alphabet. But anyways, so how many carbons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so remember that one. A lot of people like to forget that one. Nine. Now we'll count the H's. So one, two, three. No H's, no H's, no H's. Four, five, six, seven, nine. Eight, right? And then just the O's, how many O's do we have? Four. Four. All of them are pictured, okay? Remember, all hetero atoms and their hydrogens that are attached to them are always pictured, okay? So, let's look at acetaminophen now. Okay, so first we're going to count carbons. How many carbons do we have in that? Eight. Okay, eight. So we got six, seven, eight. How about hydrogens? You got that yet? Nine. Nine? Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that all of them? Yeah. And then what's next? What atom will we put next? Yeah. Nitrogen, right? Because that comes before oxygen. And there's only one of them, so it's N. And then O, how many of those? Two. Two of those. O2. So any questions on the alphabetizing portion? Okay, wonderful. And then let's do this last one, okay? So it's a little more difficult, so I'm gonna point out the carbons to you, okay? And you can help me out with some other portions of it, okay? So carbon, let's write that down first. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? So did we miss any carbons? Did we miss any of them? Okay, I think we got them all too. Okay, so this is the problem, or this is the portion where a lot of people, and sometimes even Professor Heath has a problem with counting these. So you gotta make sure you get, get every one of the little apexes or at the end of a line, okay? So, um, if I miss any, let me know, okay? So I'll be the one counting them, and you tell me um, you skipped one or something like that, okay? So, one, two, three, four, right? There's only one there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay? Everybody get those, all those hydrogens? H, 21. And then what's next? N. N, just one. And then what? O, four. Yeah. O, four. Okay? So those are the molecular formulas for acetosalicylic acid, acetaminophen, and coke. Okay, are there any questions about doing this? Wonderful. Not too bad, you just gotta kind of remember where everything and what everything means with the bond line structure.